Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you a really easy eye look that's for hooded eyes. It can actually be for anyone, um, but it's a great way to get your eyes looking like they're open and awake. And it's very simple with just a few colors. So, let's get started. Okay, I am using my, first of all I'm going to show you my palette. Look how pretty this is. This is our limited edition rose gold one. We also have silver and I believe a champagne. They're just really pretty. So, inside, I've got two levels. Um, I've got all my creams and my blush, my contour, my Bella bronzer. I've already got my face on, so I don't need to do that. And then I've got my eyeshadows in here. And I'm going to go in with this Best Blend Forever. This brush is awesome. If you want a light coverage, if you're maybe not a makeup girl or whatever, this brush is awesome for you because you can go in, you can use this fluffier side, and you can put your highlight and your contour, everything with this one brush. So this is another fun option that we have. But I'm going to actually use it for... Um, creating an eyeshadow look today. So when you have hooded eyes, um, you don't look like you have a crease. So we're going to give the illusion that you have a crease today and we're going to do kind of like an ombre look, um, but it's going to start with dark and it's going to go all the way to light. Okay. So it's going to, when you get to this top part of your eye, that maybe when it's hooded, it's coming out a little bit. We're going to create the illusion that it's going back. Okay. Bear with me. I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start with Cupcake. This is that color right here. And I'm just dabbing in with my smaller end of my brush. When you are going in with eyeshadows, you just want to make sure that you create some kind of base that your eyeshadow can stick to. I'm going to use Cupcake for that. You can use your highlight if you want. But I'm just going to put that all over, and this really helps your eyeshadow stay, but it also makes those colors appear more vibrant on your eye. If you just go straight into your eye, a lot of times you're not going to get the it's not gonna look like it does in your palette. It's not gonna be the same look. So you really wanna give yourself a base coat um, to work with before you go in. And I do have one coat of eyeshadow on, or I'm sorry, mascara on. I try to put that on before I start just because I feel like I can get to my lashes a lot better that way. So that's another option for you. If you're feeling like you're not getting um, your, your mascara all the way to the end of your eyelashes. so. Before we start that, okay, I'm going to start with my darkest color first, okay? So I've put on my base color, which was Cupcake. Um, my eyes are evened out, and now I'm going to go in with Trust, which is this dark brown, kind of a chocolatey color. We have a lot of colors you can use for this. Coal is one, um, Trust, a couple different options. But I'm just going to go in, and I'm, I have really little eyes. So I am not bringing this dark color up super high. I'm kind of keeping it really focused on the, my eyelid, okay? And I am layering it. You can see I'm going back into my pan and just kind of blending that out, but adding a little more product. So I'm bringing that all the way down to my lash line. Same thing on the other eye. Don't be afraid. If it gets too dark to blend, you can blend anything out. That's the best part about makeup. You can just play with it and you can blend and it usually evens itself out and works out. If not, you get a baby wipe, you fix it. So, okay. So that is my um, trust on my eyes, okay? And I may go in just a little darker, just straighten those corners. Okay. And I'm gonna put this brush down and I'm going to get my eyeshadow everything brush out. And I'm gonna go in with this color Zion. So Zion is, obviously um, a little lighter than trust. So like I said, we're gonna start dark and go light. Okay, so we're gonna give ourselves an illusion of an open eye. So I'm gonna go into Zion and I'm going to, this is such a pretty like rust red color. Um, and I'm not going to make a huge, I'm not bringing up high. I'm blending the two colors together. So I'm actually going a little bit on top of the of the trust and I'm bringing it over into the inner crease of my eye. So I'm just making it look like the two colors actually kind of fade into each other. As you're, you can see, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> so just fading them into each other like that. So it gives it almost like a softer look. And then just when you had coal or when you had the trust on, 
I'm going to keep calling it a different name than it is. So I'm just going in with that sign. Like I said, I'm not bringing it up high. I'm almost just taking like a rainbow shape a little bit above the darker color, but blending it together so it looks like it goes dark to a little bit lighter. That's that ombre look. Just like that, okay? Super pretty, just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with, hmm, I think I'm gonna go in with Baba. So now we're going a little lighter, see that? And I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm really gonna take Bubba and focus on the outer corner of my eye, kind of on top of that cyan, but I'm also not bringing it super high. Just enough, really working it on the outer corner of my eye and then bringing it in. And I'm going just about up to here, okay? Bubba is one of my favorite colors. It's like a soft brown, but it has a little bit of a tint to it that's a little bit more orange, but it's not orange. I don't know if that's even making sense. <laughs> Just like that. Okay? So my eyes are being lifted. You can see the light, the dark to light really opens your eye up. I'm going to do the same thing here. Really focusing on Bubba on the outer corner, but then bringing it up and really blending all of that together. Just like that. Just like that. And ladies with hooded eyes, this is a great look for you. This is really gonna open your eye. It's gonna give you the look of a crease and it's gonna be great. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with Rome and I'm just gonna take that just above and I'm blending that into Bubba, just like that. And I mean, I'm barely putting any on, just to give me a little bit more lightness up there. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with Bubba and I'm gonna line my corner right there. Just like that. And I'm gonna take Zion in my inner corner. And I'm taking it and kind of blending it into the bubba like that. Okay, now if you have hooded eyes, you do not want to use anything glittery up here because that's going to make it look like your eye comes forward and we're trying to make it look so your eye come back, comes backwards. So one trick you can use is going into your highlights. So for me, I'm pretty fair. I've got self tanner on today, but I'm really fair. So linen for me is a good um, under eye brightener. So I'm gonna go in with linen. You may be different. So if you need help finding a highlight shade that this would work for your skin color, let me know. I, that's what I'm here for. Um, but I'm gonna go into linen and linen is pretty light, okay? It's our, one of our lightest highlight shades. And I'm going to take it on the end of my brush. This is a different brush. <laughs> and I'm kind of going underneath my brow and bringing it down. And this is going to give you a look of a more awake, open eye, like that. So I'm not going on top of what I've already done, but I am giving myself a lighter color up there. So do you see the difference? That just opened up that eye for me, didn't it? The other thing you can do with your linen or your lighter highlight is kind of go in here because sometimes we get darker, darker um, eye circles, whatever you want to say it. <laughs> I like to kind of cover up any blemishes or anything I have right there and just bring that down. So that just immediately opened up my eye. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I'm going to do it on the other side, back my hair a little bit. And you're almost like tracing your eyebrow with this lighter shade. Just like that, and you just are blending it out. We don't want any harsh lines. 
we do want to look like it's opening our eyes. It's such a cool, easy trick that you can do. And then I'm just coming into the inner corners of my eye, getting rid of any dark circles I may have, just like that. Isn't that pretty? Super easy. Okay. And if you notice, I'm not using any sparkly colors today whatsoever. So this is giving us the illusion of a brighter eye. So we started dark and we kept working up until we got lighter. Okay. And that is our eye. I'm going to kind of clean that up with my finger a little bit, just like that. Um, and then we'll go in with our mascara. Just like that. And both eyes. Easy, easy look, you guys. So, so easy and fast. And if you want, I kind of already put my lip and cheek color on. So I have on my lips, I have this pink grapefruit and then I like to mute it a little bit with bear. So easy look, you guys. I hope that helped. If you are needing help with eyeshadow colors or placement, if you have eyeshadow colors and you need ideas of how to place them on your face, that's what I'm here for. So please reach out to me, you guys. I'd love to help you.